Hi, this is Amanda Frankel with OurCraftyPlayDate.com. And I wanted to talk to you for a minute about Celebration. Celebration is the biggest sale that Stampin' Up! has each year. And it runs from January through the end of March. And it's something you want to take advantage of. We don't have a lot of time left, but I wanted to show you something fabulous in here. In this catalog, and this is a Celebration Choice catalog, so when you purchase $50 worth of Stampin' Up! merchandise, you get to pick anything out of this catalog here. And they have some great things in here, and you get to pick one item. They have papers and stamps and even accessories. But what I want to show you today is this. It's in this little extra part here, and it is the uh, metallic glitter tape. It's great. You're going to love it. It comes with three rolls in a pack like this, and they are each five yards, so it gives you plenty to play with. And I want to talk about this a little bit today, and then I'm going to show you some different items that you may want to add to your order that's going to get you this for free. All right, so let's talk about this. This glitter tape, as I told you, it comes in three colors, the gold, the silver, and the white. Um, when we use this in our in our everyday life here, we around Stampin' Up, we call it dazzling diamonds, and I'm going to show you how that how that really works. This is the dazzling diamonds tape. It's very sparkly, it gives almost a bluish hue off of it. Um, but the great thing about it is it tears just like washi tape, so it's really easy to use. And you can use it on a card or project. Just stick that right on there, and it's great. And it looks outstanding by itself. But I want to show you what you can do that's so cool. If you are going to color this, and you can, by the way, color it, that's what I'm going to show you today, you want to use one of these. This is one of those items I was talking about. This is a silicone sheet, and it is um, kind of thick and floppy, but it works really well to protect this adhesive that's on this tape. If you were to just put this right on your project and then try to color it, you might bleed off onto your project. Or if you were to put this on a piece of paper and color it and then try to lift it off, um, this wouldn't be quite as sticky as it is. It's like a washi tape, so it is kind of sticky. So just put it on your silicone sheet, and then you can pull it right off afterward. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay again because it's just such a great color for spring, and I'm so tired of this gray weather. And um, instead of using the stamp pad to color this, I am going to actually put it on a little tray like this. And this is just a plastic tray, and I'm going to use my reanchor of the same color. You can use your ink pad, don't get me wrong. Um, you would just open it up and you can use it from here. Or a great way to do this too is to squeeze it when it's closed and open it up. And that has given me a little palette right here that I can actually use. And then I'm also using a finger dauber and you can see that I've already marked this one Bermuda Bay. And so I keep, I keep these and I mark them and then I can reuse them for the same color. But they do come just white like this in a pack. So here's another item you may want to add to get to your $50. But I keep them once I've got them, mark them, and you're all set. And you can ink daub from here or here. Um, the reason I don't use my ink pad when I'm doing this, although this tape is great and it doesn't give a lot of sparkle off, you can see there's no sparkle on my hand at all, there is that chance that it's going to give me a little bit of sparkle, and I don't want to put that back into my ink pad um, because I'm afraid later that it might cause trouble. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to slide this palette around here and put just a couple of drops of reinker on here. And really, when I say a couple of drops, I mean mm, one. One is good. All right, and then you just pick up your reinker on your finger dauber and just color it. And you can see it picking up the color there. You can spritz it too with a spritzer, but I'll tell you what, and those of you who get me understand I am not patient and this is going to dry a whole lot faster than if I sprayed it with liquid and had to wait for it to dry. So that is a great, a great thing right there. And then when I am ready for, for it on my project, I'm just going to peel it off and now I can use it on my project and it's got that great color to it. You can see up against there. Another thing, uh, when it's not celebration, you can do the same thing with your Dazzling Details paper. Um, same, same idea. You're just gonna color it like that. And again, I would use a palette or something on this so that you are not getting glitter back into your um, ink pad. Although this works really well. And again, this paper doesn't really come off in your fingers. So you should be pretty good not to do that. But just in case, I like to use the finger daubers and an extra 
item with reanchor. Okay, so I promised you another use for this because I know you're going to want to run out and get one of these. Have you ever been crafting and you're using your hot glue gun and you're just leaving it there while you're doing something else over here and it slowly starts to drip and it drips on your table and it makes a big hot glue mess all over the place and then you get the strings, the hot glue spaghetti here, uh, and they are all over the place. This silicone mat is going to be your best friend. You stick it under there and as soon as it gets dry, we're just going to let this sit for a while. And normally you'd think, oh no, don't let that hot glue dry on your paper or on your project. It's okay to, hot to dry here on this project or on this mat because it actually is going to come right off with the silicone mat. So we're going to leave that for a second for it to dry and talk a little bit more about celebration. Now celebration, as I said, goes through the end of March and you're going to want to get in on this because... This is a great deal to pick up some free items and it gives you a lot, a lot more to use to work with. And if you contact me, I can help get you the $50 so that it all coordinates so that you can get started and start using it right away. I wanted to just show you this. Um, this is my hot glue and it just rolls right off. Look at that. Not a problem. Cleans right up and you're done. And then you don't have hot glue all over your project. And these mats are really inexpensive and you're going to find so many uses for it. You can also assemble right on it by making a puddle on your, intentionally, I should say, making a puddle on your silicone mat and sticking your pieces right in there. Like if you're building a flower, just stick your petals right in there. Once it dries, you just peel it right off and your whole flower is made. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you found this tip very useful. Be sure that you score some of this glitter tape before it's gone. It's only here through the end of March and uh, it's gonna be a collector's item after that, I'm pretty sure. Thank you much, so much for stopping by. Have a great day.